Aloha, I'm Wendy Lowe, and today we're taking your health back, streaming live from our studios of ThinkTech Hawaii in downtown Honolulu, and from my home office in Makiki. He's back. <laughs> I have invited Anthony Criscoll, Mr. Fashionator himself, back to continue to educate us and to get us up and running after being cooped up for the past two years. Let's welcome Anthony Crisco, Mr. Fashionator himself. Aloha, Anthony. Aloha, Wendy. How are you? Oh, I'm blessed and I've been missing you. So I hope you have good news to tell us that you're back and live, but um, we'll let you get that to that in a minute. But let's just get right, right in and start it. So Anthony, I understand that a project that you have been involved with since 2018, well, that's four years now, was finally completed in 2022. Can you tell me more about the fascial net plastination project? Yes, I'd love to. I am on the uh, dissection team for this first ever fascial net plastination project, whereby we had the first human specimen that was fully dissected to highlight all of the fascial structures within oh. the body. And again, it's the first one in history. I'm proud to say I was on the dissection team. I went out there in 2018 and 2020. Uh, and just to be part of this fantastic team of like-minded fascia enthusiasts, um, I was like a kid in a candy store. And the best part about it is this human form that was then plastinated with all of the uh, fascial structures from the outside to the inside around the heart, lungs, and organs, all of that. She's currently on display at the Body Worlds exhibit in Berlin. And more importantly, they're gonna be sending her to Canada for the next uh, uh, fascia, fascia Research Congress in uh, 2022 out there in Canada in September. And this is the first major step where our practice, our knowledge, our training is going to be used to teach the medical professionals, the doctors and the surgeons, et cetera, on how to think about the fascia before they start cutting these bodies open. So wow. it's a long time coming, but we're, we want to teach the world that there's more to our bodies than they thought. Wow, look at you, and you do look like a kid in the candy store. This is right <laughs> up your alley, and to be on that team, Anthony, kudos to you for being chosen to be on that um, exhibition and to be able to witness something so extraordinary. Wow, and um, does this model have a name? Did you all name yeah. her? Her name is Freya. Freya, right on. So we're going to want to hear more about Freya and her tour and all that. It's um, all the excitement that she can create and all the education as well. That's right. So, wow. So Anthony, you know, how did the pandemic affect your ability to change lives both locally and international, internationally? And what did you do to adapt to the changing world in order to continue your passion, your crazy passion of changing lives through educating people about their fascia? Well, when I got back from Germany in 2020, um, I had already had plans to go to the Philippines for two weeks to right. teach at the university there, at the veterinary hospitals there, and uh, several Pilates studios all over Manila. From Manila, I had my plane tickets to go to Tel Aviv and oh. teach. I already had a sold out workshop in Tel Aviv. Um, oh. so currently, there's about 150 fascinators in Manila waiting for me and another 100 in Israel waiting for me. Wow. And right, at the, we're talking two days before I was supposed to leave, the whole world went on shutdown. Wow. So to say uh, that affected me, professionally and personally was mm -hmm. the biggest understatement ever because we were on our way to bring the fascinator all past to the past the Pacific Ocean all the way to Israel and all the way back and you know what it's gonna come back I'm not worried about it mm -hmm. but what we had to do also locally was I had to cancel all my live classes yes I know that that's me because I attended I would drive to Mililani to go right. work out with and, you and Pull my body out. And the Honolulu Club closed as well. They're yes. gone. 
So yeah. not only not affected my classes, but it affected my retail vendors as well. So yes. we went from top of the mountain to under the mountain in wow. overnight. So wow. what we had to do then was just, we had to pull back. I actually took the time and hung out with my kids and my wife and learned how to sweep the floor every day. You had to do wow. something to keep your sanity, right? Right, right. But uh, that's what we did. And to, to try to overcome this loss, mm -hmm. we decided to rewrite our professional course, which uh, it was actually approved just in February by the American Council on Exercise for 10 continuing education credits uh, for our professionals across the world. And wow. the other thing we did, you know, we had to adjust like everyone else. We started doing webinars like you see here on the flyer. And this was our first webinar and I was so impressed. We had over 200 people sign up from New York City all the way to the Philippines and all the way to New Zealand. Wow. And what that told me was, you know what, Anthony? Keep doing what you're doing. Right. There's something you're doing that is affecting people in a positive way and people still want more. Wow. And so I never lost my passion. We decided to figure out a new way to deliver that energy. And we did. Right. And yeah, it doesn't sound like you lost the passion at all. But you know, what a silver lining to be found that now you were able to um, kind of test the market. And now you are stronger than ever, both locally and internationally. So it became a good thing for you. And then you were able to rewrite and refocus on really what direction you all want to go with this. And then you conquered the world. And yes, Tel Aviv and the Philippines will be there. But please let us know when you are venturing to the Philippines and, and, and Tel Aviv and giving classes, because like all of us, we have at least a, a great handful of people of either in the Philippines, and I know many health advisors in Tel Aviv that would love to understand and learn that your concept of fashion, fashionating. So please keep us informed with that. Okay, Anthony, promise? Of course, Wendy, of course. Okay. <laughs> all right, so now that we've turned the corner with the pandemic, when and where are you teaching your ever popular live fashionator classes? So can you give us some details on what one would need to come take advantage of your class? All right. Well, the first thing, our, our first two live classes just kicked off about a month ago. Okay. And it's back where we started it a long time ago in my hometown in Mililani. <laughs> so if you're listening, you have a pen, write this down. We have classes at 9 a.m. on Monday, uh, Tuesday morning at Rec Center 3. So Tuesday at 9 a.m. and Wednesday evenings at 7.15 p.m. at Rec Center 3 also. All one needs to do is bring their water, a yoga mat. If you already have a fascinator, bring it. If you don't, we'll have them ready for you. Wow. And you know, Anthony, during the last few years, you know, people have not, not all had access to you. So they just kind of just lived with their pains and their issues. So you're going to be flooded with a lot of intense hurting people that really, really, really need to have you back in their lives again. Are you ready for that? I was always ready. I was born ready and I <laughs> could never get sick of helping people change their lives. I'll never, ever get tired of it. Oh, what a great attitude. And that's what's going to keep you uh, so passionate and have that kid in the candy store attitude. And that's why coming to your class is so uh, incredible. And I mean, I personally loved it because of the energy and the, the, the passion that you deliver to wanting us to better ourselves and our bodies. And I still, Anthony... Every time I see somebody limping or bent over or just saying, ah, oh, I keep saying, you got to go see this guy, Anthony. He can help you. He can help you. You're, if you want help, he's there and he can help you understand why you have that pain or that limp. And if you're open and willing to hear from Anthony, he will make a difference in your life. I guarantee you. And you've never let anyone down that I've sent to you and to myself as well. So, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, during the pandemic, you know, the large group sizes were not possible. We could not meet anymore. So were you able to do any private lessons? And can you share some stories of how your fascinator method helped those people that you visited? 
absolutely. Um, these stories that I have been able to collect over the last year are nothing short than miraculous, amazing, and unbelievable. But guess what? They're real. It's believable. Uh, how about I have clients who have gone to neurologists, psychologists, ophthalmologists, every ologist under the sun, and they couldn't help them. This woman in here, this looks like a simple picture. She's kneeling. She's showing me her garden. Well, guess what? Before she got with me, she couldn't even kneel. Her wrist didn't bend. Her hip was stuck for 20 years. She couldn't put on her pants by herself. She broke her back just reaching for a piece of paper. She had a brain tumor. She had 40 stitches in her neck from her surgery. She had seven abdominal surgeries for uh, female related issues. And this simple picture, she goes, Anthony, I wanna show you my garden. Here, take a picture. The reason I'm showing you this garden is I'm 75. I've never been able to kneel to plant a garden. Wow. So I want you to take this picture of me because this garden I planted because of you. Wow. Well, Think about it. She couldn't kneel. She, okay. you name it, she had it. She got rid of 12 pairs of orthotics. Guess what? Wow. She even knows how to control her seizures with my gua sha scraper now. Wow. That's and the kind of stories we hear all the time from you. And people think, nah, how can that be? I mean, guys out there, trust me. That's why I keep asking Anthony, come back, come back. So I, like Anthony, believe in if we can heal our body ourselves without cutting or without medication, I'm all for it. And Anthony and I, uh, Anthony and I stand in agreement with these concepts. And he has the method that can help us to firstly understand the body and then see how simple it is to take care and to love your body. And that means going to a class, having your Anthony teach us to roll out our bodies. And then the next part is taking action on your own. In between, you see Anthony, you need to be rolling out your body and taking care of it. Is that correct, Anthony? You better believe it. It's a so <laughs> correct example. You go to your dentist once every six months for a cleaning, right? <laughs> well, do you wait six months before you clean it after they've cleaned it for you? No. <laughs> you better most, not. <laughs> most people do this, though. They clean it the best they've ever cleaned it the day before the doctor appointment. <laughs> That's not good. Right. That's not good. Because the evidence is there. You're going to get busted when they find all those black spots in your teeth. So <laughs> it doesn't work that way. <laughs> wow. So, Anthony, for those viewers who have not heard of what the fashionator is all about, what is the fashionator and what is fascia and how does the fashionator help our fascia? That's a great question. <laughs> I'm going to have one right here. Oh, yay. <laughs> The fascinator oh, is number one thing. It's not, it's not a foam roller. It's not the soft foam thing that's too big around. The fascinator is a simple tool that will help you learn how to free up this tight tissue, your fascia, which was classified as the largest organ in your body only in 2012, only 10 years ago. And it's been 10 years I've been teaching people about the fascia and how to take care of it with their fascinator. And you know what, 10 years in science is like 10 seconds. So we still have a long ways to go, but let's pull up the slide of the next lady with my, what she's holding her blue fascinator. Guess what this person had? She was another one. She could not work for 18 months. Her feet were not functioning. Her back, sciatica, vertigo. She was always getting dizzy. She felt like her eyes were getting pulled from one direction to the other. She went to neurologists, eye doctors, spine doctors, foot doctors. No one could do anything. And she called me and I said, you are the people that when you find me, it's not an accident. And get ready because I'm going to change your life. And guess who? guess who's back to work? running Yay. her restaurant. Yay. <laughs> Guess what the doctor said? They did all the scans. They did her brain scan and eye scan and MRI and x-ray. They said, there's nothing there. Here, let's give you some antidepressants. It's in your head. And she's like, there's something there. 
and no one knows and you're the one and you fix me and guess what we fixed her just in time to celebrate her 40th wedding anniversary wow <laughs> that's right that's amazing and you know a lot of times people go suffer with so much pain they become somebody they they their spouse didn't marry so a lot of them don't make it to that next anniversary because it's just too difficult for the other side to deal with the pain that they think they have and they can't find out what it is but when they address it and they take action with what you teach them anthony that's what's so valuable is that you can just help them throughout their whole system by just teaching them to take care of their whole body and by rolling out and doing what exactly what you tell them to do and that's the main thing you teach it and you explain it to them and then we need to go home and do it that's and then right. we come back to you for weekly refreshers which i thoroughly enjoy and so that's how i think i want to take care of my body always well that's why you are the age you are but you look 20 years younger than that and you Yay. still go surfing you still <laughs> hang out with your daughters you're young you act younger than them i see you yeah, you know, so I want to share with you a little bit of my personal experience um, with the Passionator. And I, I stumbled into Anthony by, by chance, maybe not by chance. God brought me to him because I didn't have major issues. But when I used to do a lot of trade shows, um, craft fairs, and when I do long shifts, when I volunteer, when I come home, my legs hurt. Okay, so I thoroughly understand and relate to that lady before, and they would hurt and they would throb, especially when I did trade shows. I go Friday, work 10 hours on my feet. I come home and I'm like, my gosh, it, the pain the, is throbbing. My legs are throbbing. And so I need to take some aspirin. So I take two. And mind you, I don't like taking any of these things, but the only way I can sleep to relieve that pain is that the next day, again, more aspirins. And then on the third day, more aspirins. Now, <laughs> after even before i go to the trade show i roll out my body to enable my body to circulate better then when i come home i'm rolling out my body from my toes to my feet to my calves to my and onwards up i roll out when i wake up in the morning no pain going to the trade show with a smile coming home after 10 or 12 hours of standing again rolling out the body going to bed no aspirin wake up in the next morning no pain going the next day for eight hours only and then cleaning up packing up coming home to no pain now if that's not a testimony and i know a lot of us are business people working long hours on our feet and and just standing up at trade shows or volunteering somewhere it hurts because it's so unnatural for us to just be standing there like that but i know that i can come home and i just look forward to putting on my yoga mat and getting on the floor and rolling out my feet onwards up. And I tell you, it makes a world of difference. Not taking aspirin ever since. And that makes me just so, give me such a peace of mind that I'm not putting anything in to eliminate the pain that I used to feel. So I must say to you, Anthony, mahalo. And my body says mahalo to you for no more aspirin because I hated taking it. And I'm sure there's so many more stories like that. And you probably can go on and on and on. And mine was a simple one. I love hearing all the delicate and the intense stories that you often share with us, like those two that you shared with us earlier. That's pretty intense. Oh yeah, well, this next one, it's gonna show the person with what we call kyphosis, which is yes. a condition of the spine where everything is pulled forward. And I want you to at home look at the image on the left mm -hmm. compared to the image on the right look at the size of the hump on his middle of his back uh, yes this gentleman is only 35 and he used oh. to be really heavy so because of that he was always withdrawn into himself because he was not happy no one ever talked to him and i just spent time with him and his girlfriend in kailua this weekend and the woman said, yes. Um, his mother said she never saw her son smile until he was with her, right? Her, his girlfriend, his first girlfriend ever. And he thought that his spine will never be straighter, that he would never be able to change. And soon as I got with him, I said, are you ready to change your life? You are going to touch your toes today. He's like, that's yeah. never going to happen. 
never wow. gonna happen. It's never happened. It will never happen. I said, eat those words right now. Here you go. It's a sandwich of eating your words. Eat that now. Because <laughs> what do you see in the image on the right, Wendy? Yes, exactly. And look at this difference in the roundness of his spinal curvature. Oh, what a joyful mo moment. And here's the best part about this, Wendy. They mm. sent me a testimonial the next morning. And she said that her, her boyfriend, he could not believe that he felt as good as he did, that he slept the best night ever. He thought he would never be able to stand up straight. And she said, oh, my God, before I would just have to hope stand up a little and give him a kiss. But now I have to stand on my tippy toes because he's oh. still standing straighter. And wow. guess what happened? The next day, both of them had several uh, periods where they were crying tears of emotional release. And that wow. is the other big thing that yeah. I have been helping people do, especially because of this trauma of losing a loved one during COVID, uh, people in car accidents who have had vertigo, but they, nothing was fixing it. And after three or four sessions, this other lady that I've been working with currently, she, I'm teaching how to roll her face with her face roller. And she started crying uncontrollably. And she goes, I just figured it out. The reason my migraines and vertigo, it starts here, always starts here. It's because five years ago, I was hit by a, I was in a car accident and the guy T-boned me. And I remember now my head went boom against the glass of her car during the impact. And now, guess what? She knows how to control her headaches. They don't come. She does, doesn't have the vertigo where her vertigo was so bad she couldn't drive. And now she's driving and she's had two of these incidences of emotional release. And do you know why? Because trauma and emotional uh, experiences are also stored in our fascia. So you get ready, Wendy. The next thing I'm going to be tackling is people with psychological trauma who only been getting pills to mask it no. and telling no. them it's their fault. There's nothing no. we can do. You're no. just going to have to live with it. Well, no. I disagree. And not only I disagree. do I disagree, we're doing it. We are changing no. people's outlooks and how yes. they feel about themselves. Yes. And, you know, it's just a matter of saying, yes, okay. I mean, I'm bringing, I'm doing, bringing and sharing your information to so many people. And the neat part is I just do that. And then they call me back and they say, thank you, Wendy. And I'm like, I didn't even do anything except introduce them to you, Anthony. And I get the thank you. So you do all the work. I'll keep getting the thank yous. And we're, we're a great team that way. Um, I also wanted to mention that this, my gua sha stone. Okay. I got this the first time I met you. And, you know, it's right here. And I have it one in my purse. So when I'm in traffic and I'm just sitting there, I'm just doing this and I'm just, I don't want to say scrub or rubbing, but I just do it every day to my fingers. And then I do it at the back of my hand and I just go all the way up. And sometimes I get really carried away because I just want just to open up and have the best circulation in my body, starting with my hands, which are on the phone, which are on the computer and I just want my hands to be the best because without them, I can't hold or touch or grab or love or pray. And so this, this to me is so a valuable component in my daily routine. If I'm not sitting on my fashion area in my living room. That's right. Yes. And so, all of these real simple things are available on our website. Mm -hmm. Right. So, you know, but the main thing is I just want to get people to get excited about you know, yes, we did coop up for a, a, a while. Yes, our butts were sitting on that chair. And, you know, I say I have Zoom butt. <laughs> I, I have Zoom butt. One day I was on the computer for, I want to say, seven hours on Zooms. Okay. And so as soon as I can take a break, what do I do? My yoga mat is rolled out in the living room. I go there and I roll up my lower body, my glutes, and I just get my body feeling better. And then I have to come back to Zooms. And that's what it was like in the last couple of years. And I'm sure a lot of people have the same story and that they couldn't go out and do as much as they wanted to. So now I just want to say, Anthony, be ready because there's a lot of pain that's coming your way. <laughs>
I'm ready. I'm more than ready. I can't wait to get out of the gates and yes. keep changing lives because that's what feeds our souls, right, Wendy? Yes, yes, exactly. You know, so Anthony, if people want to get in touch with you, how do they find you? I mean, they can't even find, spell fascinator. I have to keep spelling it for them. And, you know, I say, look under Anthony Crystal or, or fascia. Nader, and then they they keep asking me again so i have to text it to them so how tell us how would people find you anthony well if you're on facebook i have a page called the fascinator we have the email the fascinator at gmail.com and our website the fascinator guess what else that we have we have a uh, uh instagram guess what it is wendy <laughs> oh fascinating <laughs> The Fascinator. <laughs> okay, I got it. <laughs> so just make sure people, when you spell it, F-A-S-C-I-A. F-A-S-C-I-A, Nader, N-A-T-O-R. Okay, because sometimes they forget the, the, the I. A. Yeah, the fascia, the I, fas Fascinator. They, 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 they bypass one of those vowels in there. And they went, you can't come up. I'm like, you're not doing the right letters there. Let me spell it for you again. So Anthony, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that you're back in action and um, get as much sleep as you can because when you're on with us, we're gonna suck all that energy out of you and take your energy and put it into our healing process because we need it. And all I wanna say that when I invite people so you're going to sweat like crazy, but that's good because it's all the toxins breaking up and leaving your body. And you're going to moan and you're going to scream. But what do we say there, right, Anthony? That's pain leaving your leaving body. Your body. Yes. And and I'll, leave you with one last, well, I'll leave you with one last say, saying, okay? Yes. The only thing you have to lose is pain. Amen. And we want to lose that bugger. So, Anthony, we run out of time for today, but I'd like to say thank you to Anthony Crisco. Mr. Fashionator himself for educating us all about how to manage our fashion with so much passion. I'm Wendy Lowe. We'll be back in two weeks with Dr. Teresa Wee, who is the walk with the doc in the park. I'll see you again in two weeks. And mahalo, Anthony Crisco. Mahalo. Thank you. Aloha. Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.